，习近平把中国的集权推向了极致，中国似乎又回到了毛泽东的文革时代。习近平这次到美国，他可能会带着他的小本本，会留下可能会留下一些错别字做纪念。现在李克强已经死了，他可以放心的在美国演戏给中国大陆人民看。我想去参加抗议，如果有机会，我想当面问问习近平、李克强是不是他害死的。I think it's about time that they started to have a conversation, and I think it it can um it can work to both of their favors. Human rights is human rights, and some something has to be done. So I'm glad that they started the conversation. We'll see what happens. I can only hope that it's going to result in something positive, just like. Any professional setting, and especially with this huge conference, like I, I'm sure they can like get to a similar understanding of things, and so that they can both help each other out, like mutually. How do you think about the talk about the Chinese human rights? Human rights? Um, oh, I'm glad that they will, or I hope that they will be, because it's like um, we all need to be treated um, like humans. You know, it's like everyone has their own definition of a human, and. Each culture and different countries have different definitions of that, but so I hope that Biden can hopefully bring this up, bring his perspective, and kind of like hopefully enlighten and just like like just help educate, you know, like how he treats his humans. So I think、uh, presidencies should give、uh, freedom of speech to all the Chinese and the. The students are after that, but they cannot say anything bad because they cannot express what they feel. But it's nice if there will be a freedom of speech and they can write what they want without getting jailed. So、uh, it will come. It will come some days or sooner.、Uh, I think she will accept that, and China will be. A better country. 讨论经济和气候的议题呢，我想，呃，这个不要是让中国拿这些议题来作为筹码，来换，比如说换取美国对于中国的人权更少的呃言论呢、啊，这些。那么在人权问题上面，我们看到实际上中国的人权完全没有改善，而且。呃，更有下降的趋势，很多的人权人士仍然受到强迫失踪，所以这个国际社会，包括美国拜登总统，必须要持续的对习近平、对中共施加压力，呃，否则的话，中共不光是会把他的价值观，呃，在用在中国就迫害人权，而且他会把这些东西输入到，呃，地球上的其他的地方。整个的秩序会被它迫害。